Hi everybody, this is the original Josh back again with Kronzli USA Pressure Washer Perfection. And we are continuing on our electrical troubleshooting series with some odd things that could lead to certain symptoms. And uh, just wanted to touch on one thing that could have technically fallen under the it won't turn on uh, segment, but is a little bit of a hard thing to talk about for some customers. Uh, so the question here is, did you drop it? Not saying that you necessarily did, but it might have happened before. So, in any case, if for some reason your machine has been dropped hard enough, it can lead to sim the symptom of it won't start. Uh, that can happen for a couple different reasons, and hopefully we're gonna find uh, cases where it's not catastrophically failed and show you ways to fix it so that it will still work. So if you've dropped it hard enough, this is a very natural part of the machine to accidentally get hit when it falls to the ground. Or let's say you're a contractor and this was in the back of your work truck and you threw in your uh, toolbox or your stepladder and you hit the fan cover real hard. You could end up with a very, very loud pressure washer sounding like a chainsaw, or you could have a pressure washer that just doesn't want to turn on. And sometimes that happens and it's completely concealed. So if your machine won't turn on, take a close look at your fan cover to make sure that you don't see any dents in the cover itself. Uh, if you do happen to see it, or if you hear that off, god awful noise of the fan rubbing against the cover, then we're gonna have to take this cover off in order to fix it and maybe move the fan so that it's not rubbing against here or rubbing against the frame of the motor. Both of those things, if it doesn't wanna turn, it's not going to start and that's gonna trip your on off switch because it'll cause an instant overload of the thermal overload. Um, beyond that, in some very rare instances, it hasn't happened very many times that I've ever seen in 20 years, but there have been cases where this has gotten dropped hard enough, especially on the nose of the pressure washer, where the motor shaft shifts all the way forward and or as far as it can, and then that can affect your bearings inside the transmission housing, could potentially even cause failure in the transmission housing, just rip everything apart because it's too much uh, friction and uh, not the proper lubrication and conditions in there. So in just a moment, we're gonna cut to uh, a motor that is opened up on the back end so that you can see what we're talking about, how to uh, get the dents out of your fan and fire this back up and see if we can get it to run again. All right guys, so here we have the motor assembly that you'll find in your Kronzla 1622, 1322, and 1122. Now, once again, we're we're focusing on your 1622 and 1322 because they're handheld. Uh, the 1122 has a plastic chassis around it, so this isn't commonly an issue for your 1122, but if it has fallen, you're likely gonna get a dent or some sort of impact uh, visible on the fan cover on the end of the motor. So we've removed the electrical enclosure from this, this particular housing looks like this one right here. Uh, I imagine if you dropped it, some of that might be broken too. So uh, you get what I'm saying. Uh, the older models of course had the fins. Uh, you may see them on some of our uh, previous videos. Those uh, are the same. They bolt down here onto the uh, motor housing and uh, it can be a little bit challenging to get this off without at least loosening that up. In the newer one, you can remove this screw just by getting inside of this enclosure. Uh, with the older ones with the fins, I feel like sometimes I had to actually take and loosen up this housing all the way, turn it so that I could get this final screw out. But in this particular unit was a 1122. It did not have the screw in the top here. so. Uh, you can take out your bottom screw and your two side screws first, and then if you find that you can wiggle it off, all well and good, but I imagine you probably have to loosen up the enclosure so that this will shift off. So once you can re remove all the hardware and slide off the cover, the, uh, any dents that might be in the housing will become 
pretty evident by looking on the inside. And if this was making a loud racket, this plastic fan is probably have left some black plastic, mark, plastic marks where that dent is. If you find a dent in the cover, I find that the easiest way to fix it, uh, if you have like a ball peen hammer, you know, if you're an old guy that's got a ball peen hammer in your garage, by all means use it. It's a metal working tools, it's easy to knock it out. You guys already know how to do that. You're not even watching this video for that purpose. But for the rest of us that don't necessarily have metal working tools in our garage, uh, using the the butt end of an old screwdriver can be helpful, but when you're hammering into it to, to punch it out, lay it onto a folded up cloth so you can uh, hammer out that dent and get it back to as round of a shape as possible. You're not necessarily gonna get it to look like it's brand new, but you don't want it to look like Picasso. It, you know, that's just gonna run into, if it's not rubbing on this side, it'll start rubbing on this side. So you know, make it look pretty. If you can't, order a new one from me. So let's say we've dropped it and we don't have any dents, but this still isn't, isn't uh, rotating. The motor shaft could have shifted forward, in which case you're gonna find this fan rubbing up against the motor frame. If that's happened, it's pretty bad news, but if you can take and pry out on the motor shaft to get it to shift, or if you loosen up the fan and get, get that to shift back, you may be able to get some some movement in the motor uh, to get it to start running like normal again. Uh, unfortunately, that may not always be the case. We're really more uh, confident that we can fix this being dented, but if this is shifted and it's rubbing on either the motor frame or the fan cover, you're gonna have to fix that before we can even give it a try. So once you've got that adjusted, there should only have to be a little bit of a gap between the fan and the motor frame. Once you've got it set there, turn, put your cover back on. And I would probably test it before you go putting all the hardware back together just in case you do have to readjust one more time. But if you're doing that, be very, very careful. If you start to feel like you might get your fingers chopped off, then I encourage you to take it to a service center. But once again, if you don't tell me that you drop it, don't worry, pressure washer will do it for you. Here we have talked about what you can do to possibly fix it. If not, give us a call at our office and we'll see if we can find you a service center. Thanks for joining us here at Kronza USA, pressure washer perfection. Kronza USA, pressure washer perfection.